Hello friends, this is Odds, one of those weird limited editions, and today we're going to talk about the Garden of Rod. It is an iridescent add-on for the artist that makes her expose, aka insta-down survivors that just remove their birds right in front of her. Obviously, from afar, this doesn't have a great effect, and even from up close, survivors can sometimes choose to just keep the birds on them, and this add-on does nothing, at least at first glance. But upon further playtesting and trying it more and more, I can definitely see why some artists think this is one of her best add-ons. There are a lot of situations where these add-on clutches hard and can turn a game around. Right at the start, in half of my games playing this add-on or more, a survivor will be hit by birds, they will be oblivious to the fact that this add-on exists, remove them and give me a first insta-down. And getting your first down quickly with artists is everything. It's really, really, really good. That alone makes this add-on really good. But there's more things you, you can do with that. You can use it in loops to convince healthy survivors not to remove the birds. And this sometimes gives you info and it basically turns it into a better version of the thick tar, which is one of her most common add-ons. They just don't want to remove the birds, so you have all the time in the world to set it up, which is really, really helpful. On top of that, you can also use it to insta-down survivors that would be protecting, taking hits, or going for unhooks, which happens really, really often as well. Uh, at least against teams that want to protect someone from perhaps being tunneled. So, if we pair this add-on with another add-on, the hand, to spread the swarms of birds as much as possible and make sure that multiple people at once can be insta-down if they make a wrong step, and then put on some classic artist uh, synergistic perks, we have a really, really mean build. Let me show you a couple games I played of Zoom. All right, uh, Pale Rose is a bit of a map that has some verticality, but I'm sure it won't be too bad. It's pretty small as well. Difficult for any team to suddenly disappear. Hold up. Oh, hold up. How did that even happen? No. Nice shot. Do we follow it up with a really nice bird? Make him drop the pallet first. <gasps> He's so fast. Ah, uh, yeah, got him. Right, so that is basically the number one thing this, this add-on allows you to do, which is to really mess with survivors on their first chase. Because they don't really have a warning. They only get told after the fact. Mind you. Sorry, I thought I might be able to just get this cheeky hit. This would be kind of ideal if they rescue now, because we could test the whole theory behind the tunneling. Is that what's happening? No. Let's have a look. Hello. Okay. So he hits them both. And I'm going to go for them. And they need to be very careful. I think I was a bit late for that. Yeah. Am I late for this girl's insta-down? I think so as well. It took me too long. But that's all right. The, the idea was definitely there. All right, so pretend to break it. Does she drop? Yes, she does. I'm gonna try to hit both. Perfect, I hit her, but I didn't hit the generator. That's okay. Let's try this real quick. Oh, they've already pissed off a little bit, have they? Okay. Unsure exactly where the second person is, but we got time to figure it out. As for this girl, what are we doing with you? Maybe hook you somewhere where barbecue will be useful? Nah, we're putting you in the middle. Barbecue in the middle is not so useful because, you know, you need to be further than 40 meters. And right now, I'm pretty sure every single survivor is inside barbecue range, so it's not very good. Sure, let's try that. Where's she going? Nice, okay. If we make her vault, that's fine. Oh, big blunder from her part, I believe. Yeah, uh, since we shot two birds, it would be literally impossible for us to follow it up with another. She would get rid of it before that. But if we make her vault or drop a pallet or do whatever, then it resets the whole timer. And of course, then it is a good idea. Oh, can I do this or am I too close? Oh, come on. They're going to start healing right next to it, right? Let's try that. Come on. Uh, verticality. That's all right. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Hit them both. She healed with medkit, so maybe not that big of a deal. Okay, we're going to try something a bit ambitious there, but... Ooh. 
<laughs> Wait, we hit them. We absolutely hit them. Oh, only problem is it was a tiny bit too late. But it's all good. It's all good. This is gonna be very interesting. Let's do this just to keep dabs on them. Nice, nice, nice. Keep in mind, they cannot get rid of these birds. Or else... I'm, I'm actually gonna mind this hollow. Yeah, she gets insta down again. Oh, dear. Poor thing. Well, I say again, but we haven't insta on this girl yet. She did see the effect, though, so she kind of fell for that. I guess she was too preoccupied removing birds. And not enough with everything else going on. Namely, me going around uh, the shack, but that's fine. Hold up. Oh, that could be that could be a double, triple, maybe? Triple? Triple? Okay, okay. Potential here is really big. Let's go. Uh, potential was absolutely squandered. To be fair, after I dropped, I didn't really have a lot of space to aim upwards. Oh, Claudia killed herself. Oh, no. Oh, well. Oops. I'm innocent. Alright, we hit this girl. Mm. Now. Ooh, a tad too late. Hold on. Oh, wait! Wait, is she gonna go down? Is she gonna go down? No. Like, it took us, like, a, maybe an extra... An extra one second, it would've been fine. Just to track her, maybe? Uh, make her drop this pallet, and I think she's dead. Does she drop it? She doesn't drop it. Oh no, what do I do? Now. <laughs> Remember, you can hit people through windows and stuff. If they're smart, though, they'll often, like, double bag and, and do things out of view, so it's difficult for you to line it. There, I just had to kind of guess. But you also have a purple add-on called the Matias Baby Shoes that allows you to just see it, so you don't have to guess it. Are you healing by any chance? Hmm. Might as well shoot it. If you place one bird and you realize, oh, it's not a good idea. It's actually misplaced. Shoot it right away. If it's only one bird, just shoot it right away. It actually comes back. Your power comes back to you faster. Nice shot. See, I think that's what he did. He waited a little bit around the corner. Oh, interesting. Let's go here. Oh, he tries to leave it. Fascinating, really. Mm, no. Nice, we got him. We kind of x-ray the loop, and here I think he's in trouble. No. Ooh, that was close. We almost missed it, though. Uh, is that a discordance? No, they missed a skill check doing nothing. We haven't hit them with the with the severed hand special quite yet, but... I think we might be able to. Are they going perhaps for the double heal first? We have four stacks of no way out, so the end game's looking good. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think they're actually doing a gen together. So... That goes really far away from any and all lockers, though. Let's roll it. Nice, we injured her. It's kind of sad that the hits on artists, which are really tricky to do across the map, don't have any, like, nice visual or, or audio cue. Like, when you hit a hatchet with the hunter, you hear, like, a... And it's really satisfying. Not so much so with this killer, sadly. Nice, catch up doing the window animation. Okay. She's... Oh, my bad. Well, she tried to dodge, and honestly... Oh, she might have been trying to go for a dead heart instead. What do we think? Check on them real quick. No. Uh, I do think she's dead now, so... This is gonna be a bit difficult for the other two. It would have been difficult regardless with one person dead and no way out at full force, but... Uh, what are they doing? Oh, dude, DMS. No. That should be a hit. But he must have dodged. Well done. Mm, he keep running or did he just go back? If he goes back, he's in a really bad corner. Hmm. Wait. I have an idea. Let's do the special. Yeah, you see that Claudette took a hit there? That's the special. If you have the severed hands... Uh, you, you can space out birds just a little bit, and the second bird will actually count like a completely new one. It's really disgusting. Oh, there we miss, though. So, even with off the record, or or whatever, borrow a time, whatever it might be, they're in trouble. What? That actually could that actually connected as a normal hit? I thought this girl was dead, by the way. Right, so this girl now cannot drop Shark Pilot. 
without or any pilot really without doing it don't get rid of it don't get rid of it well yeah so basically what you have here is like the brown add-on the th the the tar that makes survivors very slow at removing their birds or a bit slower at removing the birds this basically makes it so that how the survivors never want to remove their birds so it gives you complete control you can place the absolute oh oh, 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 oh actually i think this is a kill Three, two, one. Now. Yup. Ha ha! What? They must be so upset. Okay. See this guy? Same thing. He doesn't even want to remove them. So right now he should have enough time to remove them and he doesn't want to. Wants to dodge it, but... Right? I mean, honestly, let's just pick up call that. Give them a chance to get the hatch or whatever. But wait, actually, should I do that though? Let's try this. I think it flew well above them. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm so sorry, Claudette. I play you so dirty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But hey, here's the power of the purple hands. Possibly. Possibly. Just for this reason alone. Other ones as well. The strongest add-on on this killer. But yep. No, no. Uh, where is our friends? Uh, let's see. Is that hard in three seconds? No? It doesn't have it? Oh, imagine if you hit us with one right now. And now if Ada gets a bit lucky, she gets the hatch. But it's gonna need a bit of luck because this map is awful. It's one of the few maps where the hatch can spawn on the very edges. I only know... I only know of three or four maps where that can happen. The two swamp maps, you can have the hatch spawn like... Like, maybe not exactly in this particular spot, but it can, it can spawn by the edges like this. Then there's the other swamp map, obviously. In, I've also seen it in Haddonfield, if you use the offering to spawn the hatch in the main building, it actually spawns in the backyard of the main building, quite literally hugging... Is she gonna make this a mistake with four? Quite literally hugging the edge of the map. And obviously Larry's, I suppose, since it's an indoor map and the edges are really close uh, to the action. Yeah, that one I guess counts as well. Okay, that's a hit. Last thing she wants to do right now is remove the birds. If she removes the birds, it's an insta down if I catch her. Uh, does she do that? Does she learn from her mistakes? Three, two, one. I think she's fine. Yeah, yeah, it took too long. It's like five seconds. I feel so bad for this girl. Uh, see if we can find the hatch. We can give it to her. I think we've already proven the point of it. Over here, lady. There you go. G G's. All right, let's see what they brought. All of our perks seem to be useful here. Let's see. Wow, okay, I mean, you see this eerie, but it's not that, that insane. Mm. Really, really pleasant to play against made for this with a killer that doesn't really care about a 3% too much. Well done to everybody, some interesting builds. It was a pleasant game. And Jesus, Garden of Rod is actually going strong, huh? All right, here we go. Uh, Batman, Batman 5 is one of the better ones, despite being Batham. And this is a map with multiple floors, which is not super good, but... I mean, we got barbecue. Hopefully, it will help out. All right, I'm going to learn from my mistakes uh, some other games. I'm going to do it. Oh, no. Okay, I need... I need an injury, and I need it fast. The guy running is probably the one injured. No? Insta down? Three, two, one. She still fell for it. <laughs> I'm very surprised she didn't stun me when she had the chance. I guess she figured, oh, if I stun, I don't, I don't really do anything about the bird. Okay, I'm gonna try something super wild that I don't think it can possibly work, but you never know. If we space them out on this level, one and three for good measure. That might be enough. Ah, shame. I think they started moving a bit too early. Oh, we found this Jeff that we had injured at the start, though. Massive pressure. Oh, yo, yo. Come on. Oh, that would have been so good if we injured her. We came pretty close. Good light from Jeff. We stopped him from using a Commodious uh, toolbox, which is good. Let's put this here. Uh, oh, he's got self-care or something? 
Insta down, good stuff. Unfortunately, I probably... Oh, actually... Um, I probably can uh, do something about that unhook. If they stand still, I definitely will go for the multi-hit. There's someone here, though. You saw the scratchies? Okay, let's go one. Yeah, they'll, they'll rescue super quick. Doesn't matter. There's no lockers there, so... Nice, Claudette went down again. I'm so sorry, but this game's gonna go really fast for me. Uh, that other girl is where? Elsewhere. I'm sorry, Claudette, if you have decisive. Well, I deserve this. Yup. Nope, we get away with it. Let's do one there. Bang. I don't know whose job that is. Oh! Nice, looks like we got one. We got them both! We did a V-shot! Oh, V-shot is when you aim in like a V-shape and you hit both targets. Nice. I can't even tell, they look quite similar, which one we've gotten, but... Oh! I, th I think the Jeff I just down didn't have a good time. Let's get them both. Nice, looks like they're actually learning and going back after faking going one way. Big, big stuff, well done. All right, well, this game's not going to be all that exciting, I bet, but we can try to continue. Nice, Jeff is down. Mm, I think someone's there. Yeah, barbecue didn't quite show it, but they dodged it. Good for them. They can't really get back on the gen, so they're probably going to come here. They did. Are they walking? They are... Just in case they run back, they don't. What do we do then? Oh, nice, hold up. Nice, now. There you go, it kind of worked. Now what do we do now? Mm. Nice, we cannot zone her out from escaping. This can still be an insta down. A bit too late, I think. Yeah, like, it's like five seconds or so, and that was like maybe a couple extra. Imagine, though, if they buff this add-on. I wouldn't be surprised, because the developers sometimes buff add-ons that are not necessarily weak, just because they don't get used very much, or they get used and people misuse them. This is certainly an add-on that you can misuse. Nice, Ada. You really... That's an example of how you really cannot be altruistic. This is gonna be a hit. Ooh, nice, you kept running. You really cannot be altruistic. If you wanna... Oh, oh, she's dead, I'm sorry. If you wanna be even faster, because every time you, sh you shoot a bird, you actually um, slow down a little bit. There's one purple add-on that you can run that will make it easier to, for you not to slow yourself down as much. That's probably a locker. Mm. Uh, yeah, she went right into it. Some people ask me if Iron Maiden is worth running on artists because people go into lockers so much. In my opinion, no. If you're out of the close enough, getting into lockers almost always results in them... Oh, hold up. He's maybe gonna come up? Just in case he stays down, let's search him. Oh. Well done. Yeah, normally if they're too far, getting Iron Maiden on them is not that big of a deal. And if they're close enough, going into lockers often results in them messing up anyway. So Claudette tried to use the styptic last second. Uh-huh. Ada had made for this and some gen info perks. They had two decent toolboxes. This is pretty strong. Um Yeah, I can I can see how with some other killer on this map, we would have really struggled, but yeah, that's how it is for you. Yeah, if you want to check out um, an example of how to use the add-on I was talking about, I actually made a video some time ago that features a bunch of underrated add-ons. It's probably a good watch, and if you if you click on the timestamps, you can find the one for artists. It's called the Severed Tongue, and you know, once you've gotten a little bit good at using her, it, this add-on is actually really fun. Highly recommend you try it out as well. And definitely try the Garden of Rod if you want to spice up your artist gameplay, because it's a lot better than I gave it credit for. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.